And it's Monday Night Live! <laughs> oh, that didn't work at all well, did it? <laughs> How are we doing, gang? I hope you're all okay. It's uh, it's me, Dean the Raven Viking. Thanks very much for joining me. It's another Monday Night Live vlog. How exciting. Um, so yes, yes, it's all all good and gravy this evening, and it really, really is. Um, so sorry for seeing far too much of the room. I thought I was going to try and do something fun at the start of it, but it didn't really work out well, did it? <clears throat> but there we go. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Bike, as I already said, and uh, it's another normal Monday night live. So what we're going to do, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the live vlogs. Uh, the first 10 minutes is going to be for just saying hello to people. So if you uh, people that are coming into the chat and all that sort of stuff. And um, once I've done that, if you're if you're watching this on replay, just forward wind 10 minutes and then you'll get into the main bit of the vlog. Um, and then we hit the normal vlog section where I tell you stuff, the vloggy stuff. And then after that is just the kind of the Q&As and the chats and the, and the kind of more open open forum type stuff so i hope that makes a little bit of sense to you crazy cats now then let's have a little look and see what's going on mr todd's in woof there's a lot of you in here tonight already the chat is going bonkers and i think it's already on slow mode let me just double check on that one it there right oh, probably could be <laughs> let me just double check oh uh, well there we go so let's have a look and see who's in the house today so we've got lois lynn how you doing um sarah 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 Didge from belgium how you doing nice see you sarah are you a new person to the four percent club i think you might be um guybrush three point hello guybrush uh dean feeney oh that is a lot of you tonight oh my christ <laughs> i wish i could uh I, i've got to figure out a way of making sure that i can get the chat onto the screen at the same time without going through all of the, the a whole bunch of different things but uh yeah it's going bonkers tonight so uh the finch stephen james jazzy jag eddie summerford um in the in the room at work in aldridge on night shift got to get away from night shift on a little bit of uh, a lot a little bit of internet stuff you see i used to work night shift without internet <sighs> tell you those were the days when i was a lad <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Neal in the Isle of Man. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? Gaz Henry Ford, Stephen James. Woof, that went a little bit crazy. Um, Jesus, Jesus, hello. Jesus is in here. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Mick Blizzard, Will Clark, Sam F. Katja Sommens from the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Katja. Um, Henry Ford, I said, I think I've said hello to you. Uh, what's going on here? No, there's so many of you. There's so many of you. Mike's Mix, how do? How do? How are you doing? Uh, Brian Frew, uh, I want to know how you pack your vape gear when flying abroad. Basically, apart from, well, mostly. It's all in my, it's all in, I have a little coil master bag um, and it all goes in there apart from anything rebuildable, all the re rebuildable stuff goes in the hold luggage, but uh, or with like the, the, the wire cutters and tools, rebuildable tools, I mean, all in that, in the hold luggage and in my coil master bag, I have my mods, my batteries, my RDAs, tanks, all that sort of good shit. So there we go. Hopefully that's answered everything. And also I make sure that when I go through security, I open it all out. I make sure everyone can see exactly what's in it. So I'm not sort of hiding anything. That just saves a little bit of aggro. Lynn Smith is in the house. Andy Batten, Will Clark, Joris Dierpendale from Belgium also. I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there's somebody that looks like they've got a very Greek name and I can't pronounce it, I'm afraid, but hello to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else we got? Oh, that just went a little bit crazy. TCG Vape, hello from Houston, Texas. I hope you're okay down in Houston, Texas, and weren't too um, royally stuffed from the uh, from the from the, the the tornado stuff. Equally, I don't. I would doubt that I've got anyone from the Florida sort of world um, in this video at the moment. But uh, I hope everyone is keeping as safe as possible. Obviously, the uh, the, uh, the old Hurricane Irma has hit a lot of people before it got to uh, Florida and what have you. But uh, there you go. 
um yes so thoughts go out to all of those people um daniel carter sewell from cambridge hello cambridge um i'm more of an oxford man myself though you see oh uh, <laughs> mark Kirby, fled cabbage that i've got to scroll back and see what you said because that's an amazing name um hey dean finally catching a live vlog always had to watch replays on tuesday <laughs> well thanks very much for joining me and that's that's the tits that's just the best username ever flag is that a channel if that's a channel that does stuff tell me because it sounds like the sort of channel that i want to be watching um <clears throat> what else we got going on here who else is in here skilled butcher from south carolina peter breed bread for 313 florida hello okay cool so uh yeah oh cool that's that's fair i like it hope you're safe hope you're safe um b have z 307 hello from cape town south africa we're going all around the world today um eat meat from los angeles damn hot now stop showing off it's got fucking cold here in the uk <laughs> no one likes a show off <laughs> um, rooney plays from a newcastle newcastle lake in it <laughs> I'm too tired to even try and do it. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I apologize. Um, Dave and Vicky from Belgium. Uh, good evening from Slovakia, from Zander Zander. Uh, Leilani Heidi, New Jersey. <laughs> there you go. Totally nailed that, huh? <laughs> uh, Stephen Rapraga is watching you live while hanging with my son. Excellent. Um, I do some game. Ah, here we go. Flag cabbage. I do some gaming stuff. It's a bit, it's a bit bad, really. Well, it needs to be better. Flag cabbage with that kind of, <laughs> that kind of channel name, that needs to be awesome. Just, just saying, just saying. Um, David Dixon from Dudley. I like that. Hello, David. How you going on? Um, Czech Republic from. I'm afraid I can't pronounce your name. Uh, Lester. The Litter 99, hello. Uh, will you be riding to Brightona in October? No, I won't, Phantom New Gaming. Um, still haven't managed to trike the uh, bikers yet, so still not able to ride currently. Um, so that sucks balls, like like you wouldn't believe. But have I done? I know I've done the um, South End Shakedown. I don't know if I've done Brightona or not. I don't know. And it oft, often falls on one of my club's um, kind of end-of-season rallies. So I think I've missed it in the past because of that. Neil Hall saying, yep, yeah, absolutely. The Thames dropping off. Fucking right it is. Um, hello from Toronto, Canada. I tell you what, you know, Canada, not only, not only, as anyone who watches knows, do Canada produce the definitive designs box and a bunch of cool things. But um, I'm really getting into Canada at the minute. I think I, I'm watching a lot of people from Canada and and I'm kind of really digging it. DSLR video shooter, I think he's um, he's, he's Canadian. And uh, uh, Peter McKinnon, he's Canadian. They're just fucking all over that business at the minute. I think I need to visit Canada. <laughs> at some point, I know it's Canada, really. I know. Eyeballs just sitting there. What -o? Just sitting here with my new squonk. Well done. Splendid. Uh, Nikos, hi from Greece. Yasu, Nico. Nico? Nico. <laughs> Waiting for the vape mail in Southern California. Uh, I'm going to stop drinking that because it's terribly, terribly impolite. Um, oh, it's Mike Vapes in the room. Hello, Mike. If you're here, nice to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, what else have we got going on? Uh, Manchester, I saw we've got in the UK. Alabama, USA. Nick Sims, hello. Oi, oi, from Liam Newton. Hello to you, Liam. Um, vape, uh, vapocracy, sweet home Alabama. Some of those apples. <laughs> um, David Mottram, freezing my cabbages, cabbages off up north. Oop north. Aye, it's a bit, it's a bit cold up there. I don't like it. It's a bit northern, bit cold, bit chilly. Um, <laughs> uh, David Dixon, you need my vaping hero. I love your videos. My go-to YouTuber, you are my hero, Mr. Dixon. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Antonio, hi from Portugal. Hello, Portugal. Hello, Antonio. Um, thank you, uh, Zaris Car Carabasidis. Carabasidis. Thank you for all the great videos and reviews. If you ever come to Greece, I'm buying you a beer. I actually, for those of you that don't know that we're over in Greece, I spent two years, I think, just about over in Crete. Um, 2000 to 2002, I think it was, back in the day. Oh, that was a marvellous time. Um 
what else we got going on nigel lindsay hello from somewhere in georgia tibilisi tibilisi is that right <laughs> <laughs> four minutes of hellos and then we're going to be getting into the vlog guys just to let you know uh, um greetings from old windsor splendid no from windsor old chap splendid good evening dublin lovely to see you thank you very much um the new pipe looks amazing says dan smith yes i will show you a little bit more about that later in the vlog um is there a juice that your missus is annoyed of what i've over time i've got um i tried some chocolate flavor juices i think they were the chocolate kind of versions of some of the the quacks juice that um also make goose juice they make some with a chocolate vibe and i know that mrs biker hated the smell of that and uh, and that's that's one of those things um what else have we got keith thompson a up from northern ireland hello um uh, ray smith how do you is ray from sunny eastley that sounded like it was going to be in a game show it's ray from sunny eastley come on down if i can have some of those apples um uh, baltimore mary maryland coming through from all oh, louis nicolet nicolet nick i got should know how to pronounce your name by now louis uh jay's vape reviews oi oi you're a handsome devil um isaac Guerrero, what's your current setup i will talk you through those in a moment once we start the actual proper vlog uh good evening from essex ryan and jade here to annoy you again that's all right ryan always a pleasure thank you very much for coming in um what have you in store for us today dear many many things the hypocrisy many things there's there's stuff going on so what we're going to be doing in a minute is launching into the uh, the normal vlog and then we've got some stuff but I'll, I'll give you a rundown this is just the first 10 minutes just to say hello to people in the room and uh, give people a chance to really get in and uh, and see what's going on it's a little bit dull for you guys having to you know deal with it for 10 minutes but uh the people that are watching on playback can just fast forward it so you know lucky them um <clears throat> uh tonu uh, hi dean from estonia if you're ever in estonia i knew a girl from estonia once it was lovely um is it possible to move the vlog an hour earlier probably not time out i'm not going to tell you i'm not going to lie <laughs> probably not whilst i would like it i think a number of the people over in foreign lands may not quite so much um lee panta how's it going biker from the uk i'm going well thank you very much indeed hanging a little bit to the left um <clears throat> Good evening, Todd's Reviews. Toddy Poos is in here. Uh, what else have we got? Hi, bro. Thank you for all your reviews. Thank you for watching, Peter Worthington. Worthington. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, Chris Frager, so many things. So many things. So many things. Uh, uh, Brighton in the lounge tonight. Not so sunny tonight then. No, no. It's Brighton, isn't it? It should be lovely, but no, not so much. Kaz is in there. Battery Mooch is in. Hello, Mr. Battery Mooch, sir. How you doing? Um, what else have we got going on? I sent um, Battery Mooch a link to uh, one of these Chinese companies that had sent me an email earlier today to ask um, if I would review some of their batteries, which obviously I'm not going to do because I, I can't review batteries. But, um, yeah, they were, they were saying, I think the top ones were like 50 50 amp 3100 ma <laughs> yeah, crack on of course it is um <laughs> right what else have we got going on the great gizzardo is giz in it is giz it is giz it's chewing i couldn't see it anyway might be here anyway hello <laughs> uh, Danny Wall, hi Mr. Todd from Sunny Galston. Only down the road there, Danny Wall. Only from down the road. Um, <clears throat> Galston was my stomping ground for a uh, for a number of years. It was marvellous. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Oh, um, Rachel, hello, hello, Rachel. Um, what else have we got? Uh, I think we are pretty pretty good to uh, get into it. Yeah, that's the first ten minutes. So let's get my, let's get my notes. Let's get my notes, shall we? So what we're going to do is we are going to have a little look at a little quick chat about the videos that I've come out with this week. Um, and then <clears throat> once I can get, oh, I can tell you, honestly, you would think by now I'd be organized and I'd have my shit together. But no, 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 that would be far too easy. So, yes, we're going to have a little chat about um, about what I've been doing, what I've come up with, and uh, what's come out into the big bright world for you guys. I'm also going to let you know what I've been vaping on at the minute and a little bit of an update for a couple of bits and bobs that I have used um, in recent vlogs, just to give you an update on those. Then we will, <clears throat> excuse me, 
We'll then have a look at some new stuff, and I've got some cool stuff, not a whole hell of a lot of pieces there, but some new stuff, and then we're getting into the discussion chat side of things. So hopefully that's going to make sense to everybody. And like I say, once we get into the discussion chat side of things, then uh, that's when I will um, I will be spending more time paying attention to the chat and being able to answer questions and all that sort of good shit there. Once again, just a little bit of kind of housework side of things, um, that if you do want to contribute to the channel, I know some people do, you can use the uh, super chat through here, but that is a bit shit and YouTube do take 30%, which is a bit annoying. So if you look into the description underneath the video, uh, you will see there is a little PayPal me link under there. So you can click on that and then donate directly to the channel via that if you want to. And obviously there's also the, 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 uh, the, the Patreon stuff as well, but that's just so you don't end up giving YouTube a bunch of money that isn't necessarily needed but uh, but there you go now then let's have a little look at what we did this week shall we so since the last vlog um we did the mesh rda where i said nope don't get it and i don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, there's nothing I can say about that, really. The mesh confuses the ass off me. I see no reason for it. I see no benefit from it. Um, I just think it's a way of converting a whole lot of, uh, of uh, power into not very much flavor and vapor. And um, the squonk pin is pointless when it's in when it's in mesh mode because you've got a big glob of, of cotton just on top of it. And so you can't, you know, it's no, it doesn't it doesn't work. Even if you carve out a little crater, still no, because that's a lot of cotton for it to get through. So there's a whole bunch of fuck no going on with that one, in my opinion, which is a shame because Randy Vape do come out with some really decent bits of kit. But uh, no, in this situation, not so much, not so much. Um, now then, what else have we got? We also did the Zen pipe which, and the uh, pipe three. We did these puppies, which uh, which I think are great. And I said at the I said in the in the review that I think that they're um, I think they're very kitschy. You know, they're very kind of if you like the look of it and you think it's a little bit of fun and all that sort of stuff. I don't think it's going to take the role of kind of full time vapors now, um, but. Having said that, if you're coming from a, a, a pipe smoking background and if you're particularly if you kind of used to pack the tobacco quite loosely, I, when I used to smoke pipes, I used to pack it quite tight. Um, but if you pack it quite loosely, then you could probably understand where this is coming from, although this will be a cooler vape. But no, I, I did say that it was cool. One of the things that I missed um, on this one is the fact, and I did put it in the description, the fact that uh, underneath these, these coils, you can alter the airflow a little bit but um to be honest it didn't it just it doesn't kind of open it up any more than i had in the review and it doesn't really close it that much you can still sort of suck through it a little bit even with it fully closed so um whilst i didn't i forgot to mention it in the review um it's uh it, yeah it wasn't something that um that kind of it really impressed me to be honest with you and i've got to make give a shout out to jay's vape reviews because he mentioned it as well and uh made me remember that it was under there <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, but like I say, I don't think it does a great deal. Um, and then after that, we did the, um, we did, where the fuck is it? Where is it? What have I done with it? I honestly have no idea what I've done. We did the steam. <laughs> we did the steam engine mod. Badoom, bump, bump. Um, and this little puppy, like I said, I thought I think it, it was great. Now, a lot of people did say clean the button and that will get rid of the patina, which it does. I wanted to show you what the patina looked like or what the what sort of state the button got into, because um, to clean that all off takes away any kind of sign. You could just about see the the like the cogwheel logo going on underneath what was going on when I did the review of this. But um, but once you've cleaned it, that's that's that gone gone for gone forever so yeah you can't see that there but um <clears throat> yes you can clean it it's not going to stop it from being rattly and all that sort of stuff and i still really think the mod's very very cool i think once again it's very kitschy and it's like a, a little bit different it's heavy it's chunky it's got rattly buttons the 510 is is kind of overhangs the mod which is a bit strange but uh, no i like it and I've, I've still got this on my desk because i'm still using it so you know everyone's a winner on that one um 
but uh but yes so uh that was uh that's that's all i've done that's all i've done video wise which i think is is uh is pretty reasonable um and oh ah, yeah look at that look um literally everything i've done this week has been got been uh, yellow badge so so that's nice <laughs> <laughs> thanks youtube i appreciate that uh, so yes so all of i'm clearly a rebel now then let's have a little look and keeping you up to uh speed with what's going on on the uh, on the stuff so the keel mod i'd hope to get I'd, i really hope to get through the squake dripper and i tried to record it today but then had to reply to a bunch of emails so didn't so, pardon me so the squake dripper is all good to go oh, i'm very windy after that tea you know but uh, yes, the keel mod, the keel mod, this is going to be getting a review very, very shortly. I've used this a lot. I've still got the Handley on top of here, although I have tried a couple of 24 mils, but the Handley keeps going back on just because I think it's a really nice looking setup with that going on. I still think it's a uh, it's a decent little squonker. It's not cheap. It's not cheap, and they could do with bringing the uh, the price down for sure. And I have also noticed that the door, I mean, the door on mine is crazy tight, like ridiculously tight, um, to the point of being quite awkward to get off. Um, but there we go, got the bugger off. But the um, I've, I have seen some people where the door's been really super loose. So, you know, that's the thing. But uh, no, that review will be coming up very, very shortly. But I have been enjoying testing that bad boy. Uh, now, while we're talking about squonkers, I have got the uh, I've got the RAM going on here with the conspiracy RDA on top of that. The conspiracy RDA is still it's all right. It's OK. It's not it's not bad at all um it doesn't blow me away with anything but it's certainly not bad it does the trick um but uh, i think we do have unnecessarily long legs on the uh, on the coils on that one but uh, i'll come to that if i do do a review but no as far as it goes it it performs the mod on the other hand is i do not do not do not do not like this switch I just, I just don't. Um, I don't understand why um, a bunch of reviewers have said that the, uh, the 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 arcing goes away after using it for a while, because that first of all makes no logical sense to me. But second of all, um, mine's still going at it. The button is still the hardest thing in the world to press, and uh, yeah, and I'm just not digging it at all. And it also seems to take a while. You press it, and whilst it hits okay once it's there. It seems to take a while to, to ramp up, you know, to get that voltage through. But, uh, you know. So I will, uh, I will, um, yeah, I will probably be reviewing these two fairly close together. I've had this one longer, but um, I've got plans for this. And, uh, and yes, so I will be doing that at some point in the near future. I don't think it's going to change any more from where it is now. So that's going to be a thing. Now, the other one of the other things that I have been using a lot, especially when I've been watching TV, is the Berserker RTA. And I've stuck it on top of this, um, what was it called? DF60 mod that I reviewed a while ago. This came in a little kit from Digiflavor, but I think that just looks cute app, doesn't it? And it's a nice little dinky kind of squat, short and fat little stealth setup. A monstrous 18.5 watts. Clothes for days, I tell you. But um, but no, I've been having a jolly good time with that, so I've really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I have a feeling I'll be mentioning this Berserker again a little bit later on. But uh, those are the main things. Outside of what I've been testing and what's come in, those are the main things I've been kind of uh, sticking with a little bit more than the others. Now, obviously, I still have got the Halcyon DNA 60, uh, DNA 75C even, <laughs> and I have popped the uh, Black Dead Rabbit on top of that one. And once again... I do enjoy both of these. Um, uh, what are we saying? No, 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 no. There we go. Got some custard action going on in there and enjoying it greatly. So that's uh, that's all going great, guns. So that's basically the majority of what I've been what I've been playing with this week. However, there are a few other bits and bobs as well. So once again, I will be paying attention to the chat. Um, well, I'll be paying attention to it <laughs> in, in a little while. And one of the things that amused me massively is I think it was when I did the Mesh RDA review 
that one of the main things that seemed to really upset people was the fact that I had a baseball cap on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> because my hair is getting hippie length and i mentioned this in the last vlog it's just getting too damn look, look at this look this this there was nothing here this was zero like a month ago um so yes that's uh this sucks so on occasionally you know occasionally i don't wake up first thing and go do you know what i want to sort myself out wash brush my teeth sort everything out and then i'm gonna you know i'm gonna jump in the shower every single moment of every day just so i can do things so if my hair is looking shit the uh, the baseball cap goes on <laughs> one bloke even said something like stop it with the fucking baseball cap you're nearly 50 man well, I'm 43, so I know that's kind of closer to 50 than I was when I was 20. But nonetheless, I think I'm closer to 40 than I am 50. But uh, but not age ain't nothing but a number. That was, no, that's not R. Kelly. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Wolfie Smith, backwards snapback, age 63, 43. 43, Wolfie Smith um uh, but no so sometimes you're gonna get the backwards cap until i get my hair cut you get it deal with it <laughs> but not tonight because i've got fluffy lovely hair so it's okay but um there we go so <laughs> it just amused me greatly now then what else have we got going on so the new stuff that's come in the new things you want to see about new things do you want to see new shit do you let me know <clears throat> I can see that some people are saying they've had problems. Oh, my tash is getting fucking just long enough to get right up in that bit. Um, <clears throat> what then? I think a Stetson would suit you more, says Bones. No, because I've got a massive head, I need a massive Stetson. And I, I found this out years ago, and it looks horrific, like truly horrific. So, yes. <clears throat> What else? Have you seen the Titan from Steam Crave? I think they've lost the plot. Uh, I don't think I have. There we go. <laughs> that answers that one, Nick. Now then, let's have a little look at the new stuff. Then a few of you do want to see it. So a lot of you may have seen my Instagram posts. Um, I have got the Rebel on top of the old uh, Steam engine at the moment. The Rebel from Mr. Grim Green and Own Boy. Pardon me, Own Boy OC. I've got a couple of little... Uh, a little Clapton's going on in there at the moment. I've got the little ring thing that stops it leaking going on on the top of that one. And I've got to say, it's not a bad vape at all. This is rocking through at, uh, once it turns on, 66.6 <laughs> watts, 0.18. So I know. Hey, what? And that is with, you're not going to see it, but oh yeah, there you go, you might do with one and a half holes open and that's it but if you open this up fully holy crap balls is it open it's crazy open now the one thing that i would say about this is because you've got this afc you can't grab hold of it because it's really thin at the top and so you can't grab it to kind of easily twist what's going on with your airflow options so that's something that does frustrate me a little bit however having said that as far as flavor goes cloud production and all that sort of good shit it does a grand job So yes, cloudage, cloudageness, which is uh, which is rather lovely. So yes, I've been enjoying this greatly, and this came through from Herman Vapes in the UK. So that's going a great gun. So I'm enjoying using that. Now, what else has come in? Now I can't quite remember. So just before the show, I did have to sit there and go, "What have I had in this week?" <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm going to get it right. Um, so after that, we've also got, we've also got this this came in today and this is the easy what easy what easy what i said <laughs> the easy what <laughs> and um yes this comes in a whole bunch of different colors those of you that have been around for a while may remember the easy tc that i reviewed ages ago and this is essentially the next version up from that so you don't i don't think you've got the proper 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 i can't say that fucking word 
proprietary there we go proprietary 510 this time you can pop whatever tank you've got on there and i think this is the t22 i think um which is their kind of upgraded or, or tpd version of the t20 tank um and um the uh, as far as sort of settings go you've not got a dial but when you press it see that thing at the bottom there that is your first level and then oh hang on hang on Hang on, hang on, again. Oh, go on. We can then turn it up one, so we've got kind of oh fuck me. Two and that's not showing three. It's lighting three, but it's it's only showing three. I don't know. <laughs> anyway only came in today is a dinky little thing and it's meant to be there for um for kind of a, a, an easy transition little device for uh, new vapors i know nothing about it i've literally just filled it up it's tight but um like crazy tight lung hit or loose mouth to lung So there we go. There we go. So <laughs> Andy Fairchild doesn't work in English. E Z what? I know exactly, exactly. So yes, it's uh, you. You do have to do the old Americanism there. Now this finish. This if there's any guitarists out there amongst you, you. I, I don't know if you remember this, but back in about 1990, there was a guitar. Washburn made a guitar with a 36 fret job with a a red crackle finish on it, which this reminds me of greatly, and it was fucking gorgeous it was absolutely amazing but um no so this is something i don't know whether it's going to get the full review or whether i'll give it more of a breakdown in another vlog but uh, no that arrived today and it's little it's dinky and the vape quality from it is not too shabby But there you go. Like I say, only arrived today. Haven't had a chance to play with it. Don't really know what I'm doing with it. So not even going to try and pretend I do. <laughs> so what else have we got going on? What else have we got going on? I think. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, now then. Mech mod fans. I've got something a bit special for you now. Are you ready? Ba, ba, ba. Look at that. It's the Stroker from Geezer Mods, and I should have given it an extra cleanup before putting it in front of a camera. The Stroker by Geezer Mods, and that is a sexy fucking mod. That really, really is. Now, this is uh, an 18650 mod. It's uh, a very, very high quality copper body. Um, it's got a, uh, a, a silver. It's got silver plating on the outside. Um, it's also the, the actual button is solid silver. It's not silver plated copper. It's actually silver. Um, and uh, it's quite weighty. It does. It, it feels like it's got some girth to it. I'll put the aura on top of it because I think the aura just makes it look pretty, pretty darn sexy on top of that. Because I think that sort of the lines kind of complement each other greatly i think i think that looks cool as fuck but um the yes i've still got to review this aura but um no it works really really rather well so there you bloody well go that's a thing but no i'm really i'm quite enjoying this you know i think this once again this arrived today as well so i've got to uh, do a bunch of uh, of playing around with this before i'm kind of happy with uh, with with saying too much about it but so far it looks great it's heavy as shit and uh, and it performs it, i mean you can feel that it performs pretty damn well clouds for days now then what else have we got uh <laughs> david Motra, what a day though be with you in a minute there just polishing my stroker well it comes from a geezer in iceland i believe there is a geezer called stroker in iceland i think there we go that's the thing isn't it hey hey learn something new every day this is what you come to this channel for it's just not to watch me being an ass is it hey what fuck i tell you <laughs> now then um what else oh now finally this is the big thing this is something very very impressive a very nice man called neil um said that he had a mod that he would like to send me now he doesn't make them and they, i don't think you'll be able to buy one but um but uh, so this was sent as a present rather than a review product but uh fuck it's cool so i've got to show you i've got to show you it's a it's a beast are you ready 
if you're on my Instagram or if you're on my uh, Facebook, you would have seen this already. But this is a beast. This is a big, this is a Kylin. This is a Kylin on here, which is not a small tank. Now, the reason this is a beast is because when I open up inside, it's actually, can you see in there? You can't. It's actually a triple 18650 parallel mech. <laughs> Well, it's unregulated. There's a solder point in it for the 510. But uh, triple 18650. Oh, and it's got spikes on it. Look, the spikes at the bottom mean that it can stand up. Under here, you've got an Allen key. That there loosens, lowers, and heightens your um, your uh, 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 battery connector jobby. And um, it's just a fucking animal. Look at that from a pipe. What? <laughs> totally the wrong choice of juice it's far too throaty for doing um big old sub omen but yes this is this is a beast <laughs> the switch is up there on the top of it and uh yeah look at it just just look at it marvel at the spiky goodness it's just a fucking animal, isn't it? Big old dragon going on here. Now, I believe that this is um, is made by a company called Mabu. Mabu Mods, I think, over in Germany, I believe. Um, and I think... I, I think this is printed metal or something or it's it's metal anyway it's definitely metal but um but yeah it's it's a it's a fucking animal i'm going to look more into this one and uh, so i can give you some actual proper information but once again this rocked up and it just it's just blown me away to be honest it took me a while to find a tank so i've sort of cobbled one together with the kylin which i couldn't find the 510 adapter for so i took the 510 adapter out of the dead rabbit and stuck it all on here so nothing really fits brilliantly but it looks cool though doesn't it fuck i tell you <laughs> kaz asks, can she use it as a unicorn horn yes yes you can <laughs> it's it's when you do that you see you've got a it's a it's a there you see it because yeah there's a unicorn <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> but it was it was that one that was really the unicorn now i've got to stop doing the unicorn <laughs> but anyway there we go so uh um demonica demonica draconis von yogs fyfen yes von yogs there we go that's 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 the thing as well so yes absolutely but it's it's just a it's a fucking animal isn't it so i am uh, i'm enjoying this greatly and i'm really looking forward to it. if i had more turkish blend i would have put that in there and i think that would have been just amazing clouds on a pipe <laughs> right then now um i think that pretty much takes up all of the new stuff that i had to show you Look at that, look. The first half of the mod, the, 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 what's it called? The vlog. <laughs> first half of the vlog. Job done. Stop the coffee, Dean, Paul says. I know, good, Paul, I've had a cup of tea. No, yeah, it was tea. <laughs> That's all I've had. <laughs> I did have a cup of tea. I haven't eaten all day. That probably doesn't help, to be honest with you. Um, right. Now, then, what's going on here? Let's have a little look at the chat. Timeout says, Vaping Biker, do you know the standard recall RDA is now half the price on their website? I ordered one, $30. Awesome. Good. Good to know. Thank you very much for letting me know. <laughs> uh, right. What else have we got? Uh, let's have a little look at some uh, some questionies here. Uh, Todd's Reviews put a link up. Thank you very much, Mr. Todd. Um, and uh, feel free to jump in if you fancy it. <laughs> uh, do you think it would be a dumb idea to try and put four coils in a four post rda uh keith i've put four coils i've put six coils in a uh, in a four post rda in the past um however it's uh it it's a bastard with resistance and you need a bunch of power to get through it and no actually i've put eight have i even put 12 I might have even put 12 coils. I might have put 12 coils in a Mutation X back in the day. But um, but no, I've put a bunch in. Just getting the resistance in. Don't forget, every time you put a coil in, you're reducing that resistance by half. So, you know, it's uh, it's it's not happening. It's, it's just, and it doesn't really serve any great purpose, to be honest with you. Get one or two dirty great big coils in there, and you will be fine and dandy. Um, 
George asked what I have in my tea. I don't know. Just coffee? Tea? No. What? <laughs> Just caffeine. That was what I was going for. Oh, fuck me. Schwartzy, you're in there. Nice to see you. Thank you very much indeed. I'm late. Can you give me a quick catch up? No. <laughs> uh, biker have you news from vapor expo uk i have no no extra news from vapor expo uk as yet um i'm looking forward to it it's going to be awesome uh i think there's going to be some cool people there i think it's going to be an amazing show i believe they've still got their um modders gallery happening so if you know anyone any sort of modders that are making kind of small production things and they want to kind of throw things out into the europe's biggest vape show then uh get in touch with uh, the vapor expo people via their website and uh say the vape and bike is in you but uh, but no so they're doing the vapor the modders gallery which i think is going to be really really good um but otherwise i haven't got any other news for it yet other than i am going obviously i'm going to be there from the thursday all the way through to the sunday afternoon and i can't wait it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be really good <laughs> um what else have we got? Lawrence Nelson, Dean, will you get the iJoy Ultra Mech Mod Kit? No, I will not. No, I will not be getting that. Look, hey, look, Mr. T's in the house. Yeah, you're, you're trouble. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. T? Very well, thank you. Very well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, as always. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> yeah, it must be at least, oh, half an hour, an hour. 42 minutes uh, um did you uh, four beach house did you already get got the chance at having a look at vaping bogan's rda no no i've not so no no further information on that one there um uh paul sykes vaping bike which is your most prized mod and atty and why i don't i have a bunch of stuff and uh, i think you can wade in on this if you want mr t but um i've got a bunch of stuff that i will treasure and keep forever because of the modders who made them and because they have a special place in me not because of um that no, they don't have a special place in me that that's bad <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a special place in my heart. So, um, and that's mainly due to the modders. I think I can, you know, if I lost everything or if I, if, you know, if, if everything went away apart from the special pieces, I'd still be super happy. Yeah. Um, Christopher Egger, uh, Vapen Biker and Toss Reviews, are you going to get the Entheon RDA from Cyclone Mods? Have you heard anything about that as yet? Nope. Nothing. No, I've seen the pictures of it, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't spoken to Mac about it at all, so he's not messaged me on that one yet. Um, Antonio, thanks for the information. I hope I can be there at Expo. Are you looking forward to Expo, old cock? I, I yes. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> um, you need to come and chat with us at premier e-cigs at expo chaps do we do we know do we bear vapes why what, what have you got a premier e-cigs that's going to excite yeah. us and entice us over that's what i want to know or is it I'll, I'll, I'll come and i'll come and speak to you you can't afford dean <laughs> He's, he's expensive. <laughs> uh, Dean Todd, either of you tried any juices recently that positively surprised you? I actually fucking well have. Now, this, I think, I've got a feeling this stuff comes from Grey Haze. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, it does. Grey Haze, and it's got stupid packaging. It's all that stuff. It's that kind of stuff that if you're over the age of 25, you can't read it. Unless you're um, unless you're Rick from Modmaker, who's a graffiti superstar, but I think it's Godfather Co. handcrafted sour pop. I think that's what that says in the uh, in the orange underneath the Godfather business. They're Malaysian, aren't they? Well, uh, it might be distributed by Grey Hayes. So there we go. Could be Malaysian distributed by Red Zephyr Group Limited. Grey Hayes. Mm, just as Grey Hayes on the box. So yeah. that's all I know. But it actually tastes really fucking nice. It's it's nice and bright and and it has got that sour thing going on. It's bright. <laughs> yes, it feels like it's got a little bit of a floral undertone that you can get with some fruity things, <laughs> but uh, it's got a thing. What? What are you laughing at now? What have I done? You yeah, like that Julie Goodyear or whatever her name was from the food and drink show? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that smell. 
<laughs> and it's another summer's day. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Lois asked, did I find the black currant juice? No, Lois. No, not yet. I have not. I've been very lazy on that or I've been too busy. And so I've not ordered any, which sucks. And I really need to. Or I just need to pull my finger out and get mixing some, to be honest with you. But I'd, I really do want to just buy some and see how it goes. Um have you seen the H cigar VT 75 D a minikin V2 shaped what cuz Steve says have you seen a cigar VT 75 D which I don't understand yet a minikin V2 shaped DNA 75 C oh so I guess it's like an H cigar version of like a minikin with a VT 75 no DNA 75 C in it I guess no I haven't is, it, is that not the one they brought out after the the fiasco with the the last one? You know, the, <laughs> the, the, what was it called? The color, the the color. They recalled most of them, and then they brought out another mod straight away. Is it not that one? I have no idea. Uh, H cigar have never contacted me ever. Yeah, I've blocked them. <laughs> uh have i used the uh faro rda no i did review the faro rdrta rather and uh, i didn't like it sick as tits <laughs> <laughs> um joggy say gold 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 for vaping biker i don't know what we're talking about but fuck yes <laughs> i'm all about the gold at the minute i'll tell you flash as you like although i say that and the only gold one i've got is the rebel in front of me at the moment um vaping biker at todd's reviews is there anything wrong with using glycerin from a supermarket pharmacy to make your own juice asks justin paul um i've used the glycerin from boots before when i first started making juice likewise yeah and so you can absolutely um i think it gets quite costly if you're going to do it that way as opposed to going to someone like dark star and buying a fuck ton of this stuff and i have a feeling and i might be wrong here that the uh, the glycerin that you get from or the vg that you get from boots can be a little bit sweeter than normal vg i'm not entirely sure that's right or not but i've just got something in the back of my mind that tells me that for some reason um bear vapes a uh, good time shouldn't that be enough to bring you both over plus i want a follow-up pick with you both from last expo now oh, go on then bear vapes <laughs> he gives your ass nicely go on then. <laughs> and have beer have beer at your, if you have beer at your stall if you want us over have beer offer us beer we'll we'll hang out there for a good 10 minutes it'll be marvelous more beer more beer Are you drinking beer tonight you wanker no no i'm, I'm drinking um this is uh, Karen goes out and buys me beer and says, here, this is for the weekend. You know, you can sit and chill and have a beer. <laughs> yeah, zero. I'm going to put the camera on you. Yeah. Put it up to the camera again. Yes. She just, yeah, she, she just thought it was some fancy brand. She didn't realize it was 0%. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. That's, that's a nightmare. Uh, Dev Gron says, can you look at what I wrote to you, please? Well, without no. no. Quite frankly, I'm not scrolling through everything to try and find out what you wrote. So write it again. Um, <laughs> Keith Chenoweth, are either of you excited for the Recoil Rebel RDA? What, this one that I mentioned a little while ago? <laughs> yeah. Um, can I just reply to uh, Laszlo? I think that's Laszlo. Yes, you uh, How do you like the Jorda so far? It's very, very good. Very good. Is that that posh one? Well, it's not posh. It's um, the, the, I don't. My camera's absolutely crap tonight. But it's it's a proper mouth to lung RDA. Um, proper mouth to lung. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's got a it's, it's very good flavour from it. It's very good. Um, quite impressed so far. Splendid. Like that. Like that. Um, what was your job before you started YouTube? Asks Daniel Carter. I had a job. I still have a job. I'm, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Um, I worked in IT. When there I started you my YouTube channel, I was in IT. And I was up until a few years ago. Then I worked in a vape shop for three years. And now I work for myself here. Splendid. And I was in oil and gas um, and uh, engineering. So 
I was office based for a couple of years, but prior to that, I was on the tools and I was out working on on uh, on site and ended up running jobs and all that sort of stuff after a few years. And so did all that action, which was great fun and fuck tons of money and got very drunk a lot, which was splendid. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Rowntree is apologizing for being late. And so he should. Bloody right, too. We've been sitting here for how long waiting <laughs> on him? <laughs> we'll let you off on this occasion, Kyle. Um, Fled Cabbage has asked, have we ever tried vampire vase, watermelon or bubble gum? Just, uh, just got some and they honestly taste exactly the same. Uh, well, and they taste exactly the same. They're not very good. I've tried neither. Neither have I. There we go then. Um, uh, Keith says, my bad, I wasn't here when you talked about it with, with regards to the rebel. Bless you. We'll let you off. <laughs> uh, do you know if there will come out a dual parallel mech mod squonker or is there one already? Dual mech mod parallel squonker. I have one that I reviewed a year and a half ago from uh, from M Vapes, now Fine Mods, which is dual parallel mechanical, full mechanical. It's a beast of a mod. It's fucking huge and uh, and was amazing. And I really, really like this. And I can't remember if Matt is still making these or not, um, especially if he does make it out of his new sort of dark wood things. But, um, but no, this is just an absolute animal of a mod it really really was and i was super excited because when i reviewed that that was when i got really excited about squonking because then i could cloud and squonk at the same time there you go <sighs> uh, i'm just there uh, to schwartz say it's acdc back in black that is <laughs> that's the lp for the week i love the fact that you, you listen to some rock every now and again and some metal that, <laughs> that blows my mind i can't quite deal with that <laughs> uh, pilot to co-pilot please make a new addition to the future does it unicorn <laughs> and if it's got a really long drip dip what was the name of the mouth to lung rda say again mr t the jorda how, how would you spell that if you're not scottish Gorda. it's um go to kilo hotel Whiskey, KHW mods. Boom. There we yeah. go then. The Jorda. Jorda. From KHW. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Now, um, uh, uh, did I miss the pipe had to deal with a fussy six month old? Yes, you did, but I'll show it to you again just because it's fucking awesome. There we go. <laughs> Triple parallel boosh. Um, boom. That's not a pipe. <laughs> That's not a pipe. <laughs> I do think, though, that with although that is a beast, and it is, I do think if I clocked around the chops with this, I'd do more damage than you would with yours. Ah, uh, but you see, I don't have to reach as far because this is this is, you know, this is it's like a club. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, swing it with that drip dip in a day. But yes, th this is made by the same person that makes beans. And I posted the link earlier on. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, nine inch nails, nine inch nails. Awesome band. Yeah, uh, once again, that, but you don't like all rock, do you? No, no. No, no, did you listen to the Bank Street Symphony album from Thunder that I told you to listen to ages ago? No. You're rubbish. I had it in Spotify and it was playing away in the background, but I, I kind of forgot about it. I must admit, I'll be honest. Rubbish. All right. <laughs> um, right, what else we got going on? Um, pardon me. Stick an RDA on the pipe. Absolutely, Keith. You definitely can because this is made for sub ohming. But um, I, I just stuck a tank on it with a pair of big old Claptons going on inside there, just because it was easier. So I could sit here and, and pipe away and have a jolly good time, but with a, a dirty great tank on it. But yes, yes, you can absolutely put an RDA on it if you want to. Um, Jules Vapes. Ah, here's a question. Now I spoke to him early on today because um, he was showing me a, a mod that he's making, and. <clears throat> I said that him and there's like him and or him and like two other people on the planet that are like BB style buttons on mods. What's your feeling for them? 
BB style. Are we talking old classic BB style buttons? Yeah, like the little round ones you used to have on the Hannah mods and stuff. Yeah, they don't bother me in the slightest. See, there you go. So there's there's you two and then one other. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Dean, I'm fine for a statue to be put up in Haverford West Square in your honour. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stuart. Uh, I think it would probably be more relevant to go in Pembroke because I spent more time in Pembroke being absolutely off my tits. Uh, <clears throat> but <laughs> there we go. Um, Andy Fairchild, Thunder for the win. Fucking right, Andy. Um, and uh, Rooney plays, says, Rammstein for the win. Did you listen to a bunch of Rammstein when you were in Germany? No, I didn't. Did you not? That, I would have no. thought that that had been one of those things that they'd have just had blaring out everywhere. <laughs> um what else have we got going on here dean uh, do you listen to the foo fighters or are you looking forward to their new album um i i tend i don't keep up with them i don't really keep up with modern music at all because i'm a bit rubbish but i do t i do like the foo fighters i think um that uh dad Grohl is amazing i got kind of really into watching his um like youtube clips of when he broke his leg on stage do you, you seen that t i have indeed yes he broke his leg on stage and then decided he was going to carry carry on with the with a chunk of the rest of the gig, which is just fucking amazing. So I think he's a cool guy, and I've watched a few of his things as like um, just one on one interviews and things like that. And I think he's an interesting kind of dude. Five finger death punch, yes, I like five finger death punch. They're very good. Um, uh, Amon and Marth, I haven't tried those. Black Label Society don't like those because of their uh, because of their logos. Um, but uh, but no, there was who's the guitarist for Black Label Society? Very good guitarist, can't remember. Right, have you seen anything that you want to? Uh, oh, I do. Oh, good work. You've caught something. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> so it's just somebody that said that you're better than me, so I'm a blind. Get away! Get away! I banned them. I banned them. Um, <laughs> yes, I've got something. Go on then. This, go back to this. <laughs> so this is something that we that we want to bring you guys into our our argument because just before the show we did have a little chat about something and um mr todd and i disagreed greatly on something and it's one of these little things that we tend to disagree and um and we thought we'd we'd save the full disagreement until we were live because why not <laughs> so go on there mr t you kick off right Mr. Mr. Beardy Man's point of view was that this this new the, the tank that he showed you the Innokin one the Easy Watt uh, is that it's too big a draw for smokers. Um, yes. And I said I disagreed because it's much the same as a CE5, and the CE5 is probably has got more people off fags than than anything else on the planet. Um, however. <laughs> I thought I was really clever because those of you that know, you know, a lot of this, the CE5s now, they use the Nautilus BVC coils. And if you get the higher resistance BVC coils, they have a tighter draw on them. Um, but this tank comes with, what is it, a 1.5 and a 0 0.8 ohm coil. And I took them out and checked them. Yeah. And the wick holes are exactly the same. Uh, and the bore on the bottom is exactly the same. I thought one of them would have been the higher resistance one would have had a tighter draw on it, but it doesn't. It's got it's a slightly smaller core uh, core size on the inside of the coil, isn't it? Just a tiny, tiny wee bit, mm. but much the same. So, well, there you go. You see. So my point being, when I when I gave up. Um, when I gave up smoking and started vaping, the thing for me was I everything that I tried to use was too loose. And I was I was smoking Benson and Hedges were my main cigarette, although I would go click across to Marlboros and whatever else. But um, it was uh, it was a case that when I started vaping, and I can't remember what my very first tank was. Um, I know what my first setup was, but I can't remember what my very first tank was. And I know that I could not, for the life of me, get a tight enough draw that emulated a cigarette. Now, this um, little tank that uh, that comes with the easy what that uh, Mr. T is talking about, to me, um, is that loose draw. So you can mouth to lung it, but it's very, very loose. Now, when I think of a, uh, a mouth to lung draw, um, and this is what I had a problem with, with the K-Fun 
and um, and uh, and to some degree, I think the Hurricane as well. But uh, the Berserker does it really, really well. I'm using the one mil hole in the Berserker to uh, to vape with, and this to me gives me a, a nice tight draw, akin to that of a cigarette with a filter. But uh, this does not. And so that is what I want you to uh, I want you to fight your case on that. If you think that that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I worked in a vape shop for three years, and I'm right. Man, 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 I worked in a vape shop. Man, I've been vaping since nineteen twenty-three. <laughs> I don't I don't disagree with your point of view. I mean, you're absolutely bang on. It is a lot looser than the vape gear that starters started off with many many moons ago yeah uh, yeah not disputing that at all mate uh, but it's what c5s and um you know it, it's in it's in line with them it's in line with them yeah so, yeah I, th I still think it would get somebody off the cigarette but you know yourself i mean how many people come in go into vape shops now they have a mate that's using a smoke alien and you know that's what they want to start off with so many yeah. people actually start off sub now yeah, yeah yeah and i've said it before that that it was something and i think i saw someone in chat then that had said a, a similar thing for me when i found out about lung hitting rather than tailpiping it so bringing in extra air through the through the the drip tip of my on my original nautilus and nautilus mini that um that it was uh, <clears throat> when I could when I could fully lung hit from something, it just it blew me away. I loved it, and that's really kind of something that 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 made me carry on vaping. I think because yeah. it, it would fill up my lungs with vapor, much like I used to smoke angry cigarettes because I liked that feeling of just constriction in my lungs, which looking back probably wasn't overly healthy. Um, but I used to love that feeling. So um, lung hitting for me just fix that but when it came to the straight away the switch i was in kind of a bit of a no man's land when i couldn't i couldn't vape like i used to smoke but i couldn't vape how i wanted to vape do you know what i mean i'm with you yeah so it's, it's like folk are saying everybody's different yes yeah, everybody's different absolutely although i am right i must admit that just <laughs> because you have a beard and wear a stupid hat back to front does not make you right. <laughs> Makes me cool ass though. <laughs> it's not. And my pipe's bigger than yours, so get off you. <laughs> no, hang on. Let's put some of this juice going on in here. <laughs> Talk about yourselves for a minute. <laughs> 10 mil bottles. These are so stupid. I've got to get back into working on my uh, little 3D printed bottle squeezer gadget. That's right a, a, another one of your designs that's in the queue oh man i tell you i've I, you know i designed it the people that are watching won't know but i designed a a cup holder looking thing to attach onto my um little scooter that i take to vape events and stuff because that way i could put my mod in it or i could put a drink in it and do whatever else and uh, i pr designed it all out and made it all look lovely in 3d and everything and i got ready to the point of printing and i haven't had a chance to actually print it which sucks my print is actually covered in vape gear at the moment a fucking nightmare uh guy guy brush Threepwood. sorry mate if i got that wrong is he keeps asking any thoughts on the new vicious ant squonker the vanguard we've talked about it before and i know guy brush has been watching the the previous um uh um what are they called vlogs um <clears throat> but uh, i think i haven't i haven't tried one i think it's going to be awfully expensive um but so i haven't i haven't thought about buying one i think that if that's the one that that has got the bottles that just slide in and out i think if they're if they're caps that you can put on regular bottles that's one thing but if they're um if they're proprietary bottles that um that um you have to use i think that that's going to limit the market quite considerably but uh, it does look like it's a big fucking beast as well by the way i mean it's an sx i'm just pulled up the spec just now uh, because I like to look clever, and um, it's, it's an SX four seven five. Yeah, um, three hundred and fifty dollars. I'm actually quite surprised because you would have thought for a a vicious ant, it would have been a lot more than that. Yeah, but it's, I mean, still, it's only a single eighteen six fifty, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So that's a I don't know. 
I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't really tickle my taste buds, to be honest with you. But I mean, the the the, the thing I saw of it was on um, um, Instagram or something. I think probably like three or four weeks ago now, and it looked like it was a fair bastard old size. So for that, I can't see it being. I don't know. Awfully expensive, possible proprietary bottle. Uh, don't know. No. Um, AJ McLean is asking if we're looking forward to the new Pulse Squonk mod. Um, I don't really know anything about it at the moment, AJ, but uh, yeah, I think it should be nice. It's Vandy Vape, so it'll be affordable, so we'll have to wait and see. And uh, obviously, Tony knows his onions, so hopefully looking forward to seeing what comes out from uh, from Tony and Vandy Vape on that one. Um, Babas is saying, when are you going to come out with your vape product? I mean, I don't think any one of us wouldn't get it. You want to know why? Because you're bloody awesome. Thank you very much indeed. Sweet talk at you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm in talks with uh, with a company about an accessory that I've designed, but not a uh, a vape product as such, not an RDA or a tank or a, or a mod. So we'll have to see if anything comes on like that one. Um, John Viglotti, uh, any new mech mods on the market that we'd recommend? Do you want to show off the mech mod that you got, or would you rather not? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've got two new make mods from the same company arrived today. Um, they're from Revolution Squad, London. Um, <laughs> uh, there you go. They're uh, 24 millimeters in diameter, and they are 24 karat gold plated. And I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> I got the camera on you, and I'm trying to find my screwdriver. So you're gonna to have to say something. Okay. Uh, listen, it's, they are branded as uh, being London, but they they are actually made in Taiwan. Um. Yeah. It's, it's and they're they're about. What did I say? It was about two hundred and no, three hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Certainly a fair, a fair old penny. Yeah, fair old penny, but um, uh, it was the fact all the marketing's about being from London and being British and all this kind of carry on. But um, even the websites in Chinglish and that's nah, it's, it's just not right. Um, <laughs> just not right. Um, yeah, Mike Vapes. Oh, Mike, 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 you got them as well, didn't you? I think you did. I think you did. Yeah. Um, uh, he's saying three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, uh, I mean, I like my laddie da stuff, but I'm struggling with him. I really am. Yeah, but um, the, I, I thought the marketing of saying that it was for a, for a businessman and for a for a kind of a you know a super special kind of you know posh person um, was just amazing. Particularly when 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 you think of the names of the mods. Um, I I think that the Brit pop. Is not a bad name for a mech mod. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've taken the the spring out of mine already, and I've put in an old spring, um, a softer one, because it's just too stiff. Yeah, too stiff. But um, it's not as shit as I thought it was going to be. It's no. actually performs not too bad. Okay, that's good to know. But yes, some very sort of suspect marketing going on. Yes. Are you, are you finished doing what you were doing then? Yes, yeah, sorry. I was just adjusting the throw on my stroker. <laughs> it's, it's totally not something I should be doing in the middle of a vlog, but thought, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Because, yeah, I, I think this is, this is, this is, this hits like a train. <laughs> but no, it's a beast. Um, <clears throat> right, have we got any other questions? We've got questions going on in here. Let's have a little look. I'm still over touch with you. Um, until what I'm still waiting for at Todd's reviews vape pipe to hit the market and a vaping biker mech mod kit. <laughs> I think you'll be waiting for a long old time there, Kyle. <laughs> nice. Um, nice. What else have we got? So yeah, if you want, if you've got any questions, please kick off with uh, at vaping biker or at Todd's reviews, and that will help us see them. If you put it in all in uppercase as well, and then that certainly helps. Um, Guybrush, do you think Bogan has one video that has not been flagged for swearing? To be honest, it's not that you can't swear; it's in context. So it's, I mean, my 
like I said earlier on, my videos, all of last week's videos, have all been flagged, and my uh, my I requested a review of my flagged um, pipe video, and they they came back and went, nope, nope, still not advertiser friendly, nope, you can't have it, which is. <laughs> I don't think I'd, I swore excessively. I don't think I did anything remotely dodgy in that one. So there's nothing that conven uh, uh, contravenes the uh, YouTube rules. And so, yeah, it's just is weird. Nah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a dumb question. I'm using a pair of pre-built Claptons and they come out to 0 0.382 ohms. How could I get the ohms lower at least 0 0.32? Why? Would you want to get the ohms lower, Keith Chenoweth? That's what I've got to ask it. That's the question. Um, I made a little photo montage of you and Todd's reviews. Send you a message on Facebook. That seems to be a bit worrying. That is worrying. <laughs> I'm just wondering what photos he has. <laughs> I'm also wondering if he's sitting outside the house at the moment with a long zoom lens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gnosis Osmosis asks, uh, what do we think of the square squonking bottles? They're square. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. I don't think it makes any difference. I've not had one where the corners of the bottle kind of get weak with use. Yeah. So that would be my main concern. But no, it's not something that I've had. Um, Axodus. I'm not. Is that Aris Cabaris? That's I'm making that name up now. <laughs> have I have I tried the Skyline RTA yet? Yes, uh, I, I reviewed them when they first came out. So there's there is a review up for that. There you go. Like you see, if you want to learn know about anything posh, yes, Mark has tried it. It'll be on his channel somewhere. <laughs> uh, speaking of posh. Uh, what, listen, see when you create your, your YouTube name and you log in, can you just, if you think that one of us can't pronounce it, just call yourself something else like Bob or John. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, Bob has asked, do I still like the Haku RDA? Yes, it shall, has become one of my favourite RDAs this year. Um, so, there you go. Interesting stuff, I like that. Phantom Noob, Game, oh, Phantom Noob Gaming has asked, what would be the best coils to fit in a Goon RDA? Depends what you're building it for, what sort of thing you would like, and what tickles you fancy. There is no best for that one. Um, uh, have you tried the G-Box Series Box from Frostbox? There's a lot of boxes in there. Um, no, no, I've not. Uh, no, hang on. What's my Frostbox? Fuck knows. Don't even know what I've done with it. It's there somewhere. Um, I showed a Frostbox mod a while ago. Can't remember what I've done with it. But I think that was a series box, I think. Yeah, it was. Oh, here we go. Well, oh, they'll, they'll do it in parallel or series for you. Yes. So I don't know if that's the one that you're on about, but that's the uh, that's the one that I had and or have. And, uh, yes, series for days. And it's got red power, power paracord in it, so that means it hits harder. <laughs> <laughs> that's, to take, that's to take your eye off of the, the Hammond lean. <laughs> yeah. uh, when will your review be up for the Theory and DNA 75 Squonker? Uh, considering buying one but waiting for the review thoughts, please. Ask Ryan Lynch. Uh, basically, if you liked the original, go and check out the original Theory and Review Squonker that I did. And it's that, but with the DNA 75C board in, which I covered in the Paranormal Review. Um, and uh, yeah. And it's it's good. I showed a I did a little kind of quick um, five minute quick tip about the bottle and all that sort of good stuff. So you can go and check that out as well if you want. Have you done a, a video with yours yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, updated bottles, refill bottle, updated five ten doesn't leak. The battery doesn't get damaged when you take it out, and the actual battery tray or do that do hickey thing. Um, is a lot better as well there we go boom get some of those apples up yeah but uh yeah i think it's 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 good um uh what do you guys think of the new smock alien or orion i have no idea i don't have one gavin so i haven't reviewed anything smock for a long time um why do we think there well, uh, hang on hang on andy batten why do you think we're seeing so many releases recently 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I, I hear some people going on about this, some other people in our industry going on about how, uh, you know, it's quiet just now, it's busy just now and whatnot. It's just a constant sea of gear all the time. I don't see any lull in the market, apart from when they shut down China yeah. for a year. Um, it's just constant all the yeah. time. It's not seasonal at all, is it? It doesn't kind of get bigger or slow. And especially with because of the, the American law and stuff, there's a lot of products that have been kind of designed and they've been in the works for the last year that have been scheduled to come out. So, you know, they come out fairly regularly, to be honest. But there are more companies doing it now, for sure. Um, I want to put my Death Trap RDA on my Robusto Mech Mod, single 32650. What kind of coils would you recommend? Big one. <laughs> Big parallel coils. There you go. Boom. 24 gauge stainless steel parallel over 4 mil. There you go. I just, I, I just want to do something. Hang on. That's just to say that Mooch is actually in the house answering all your battery questions. <laughs> that's, well, that's now a thing. You've got to do that every time. <laughs> I, 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 I'm copying that from Plumes. That, that's what Plumes do. <laughs> Mike's Mex says, that faith in biker for the Dosh. The Mongrel is well worth it. £100 for a British made Mech. Well, well, thank you very much for letting me know. Very kind. Hang on. Haven't I reviewed? No, I haven't. I haven't reviewed that. Um... What have we got going on here? What have we got yeah, going ban, on? Here? Ban Jesus. Ban him. There's, ban. there's no such thing as squanking. Oh, don't say squanking. <laughs> squanking. It's squonk. I, I tell you, I blame, pl blame plumes for that. Yes. So much. Um, right. What are, oh, we've got a lot of questions going on here. Any experience with fine mods, square squank? Yes. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> squonking bottles yes and had no problems at all uh any mechanical tube mods you'd recommend for more budget end of things the coil art the coil art tsunami is this the tsunami i think it's the tsunami i think that boom cheapest chips and really really good really really a heavy hitter really really a heavy hitter a really really heavy hitter and cheap chips so that one now then what else have we got going on here um uh, am i going to the vapors com 2018 and oberhaus in germany i have no idea i have absolutely no idea uh, that was copy copy copes and bob Kopi, he um, has now got in his rider for any 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 German companies watching now. For for Mark Todd to come over, it's insistent that he carries me along as as um, baggage. <laughs> 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 um, what was the squonker that started as a printed battery box you showed a long time ago? Oh, that would be Eddie's Eddie's little thing. Oh, the, the the V1. The fucking thing, yes. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Hey, you it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Here we go. This, this, why, what's going on here? What have I done here? Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Yes. So Darwin, these are Darwin from. Huh? The Darwin V1. Yes. Darwin. Those puppies there. That's not down properly, but that's uh, that's only because there's a battery in the way. Yes, there we go. This I think was the is the one that, that that finished up with that was actually really, really good. But yes, marvelous, marvelous little squonkers. So if you're not already on it, I think if you go to the Darwin, is it the Darwin um mods group page? Yeah, Facebook group. Yep. Yeah. So if you go on there, you can see all of Eddie's work. And when he releases new products, you can check those bad boys out. Um, now then, what else are you? Go on. Yeah, uh, Schwartz is saying they are £70. Thank What's you, Mr. Schwartz. Um, what? And um, I, I think, yes, please leave Mooch alone. He's trying to listen to Dean, not answer all your questions and batteries. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh i see so you just decided to get him in shit early on did you is that what it's about yeah i was being sarcastic 
<laughs> um, <laughs> Legion asked if I ever get mustache hairs caught in my drip tip. I was testing your device last week, and every time I took the damn thing out, that yes, yes, I do, and I have had. And I can't remember for the life of me what it was, but one of one of the things I tested a while ago now was an absolute tosser for that. It was a real pain in the ass, and I was forever ripping out tash hair. It sucks. Anyway, go on. Yeah, no, it's just. <laughs> um, Lee is asking if I've seen the new Hassar RDA yet. Is it this deck the same as the RDTA? That's the brand, brand, brand new one. I'm getting that when I go to Poland at the end of the month. Yeah, you even you're showing off by traveling around the world as vaping. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Chris Frager says, at Faith Micro, I made it. Todd's reviews a proper man on the photo, so I imagine he's probably put a beard on you, to be honest with you. Could you do something about the moods as well, <laughs> if you're Photoshopping? Photoshopping? <laughs> Photoshopping. <laughs> Faith Photographer, are there... What? Jordan Watson, your question makes no sense. Are there any serious squonkers out there? That makes no sense at all. I'm a very serious squonker. <laughs> I'm desperately serious. <laughs> very serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, any vape events you would recommend in chicago to go to funnily enough john vigliotti no because i'm i'm in england and don't know anything that goes on in chicago i'd like to i'd like to but uh no i know heck all i'm afraid sorry about that um uh are we are either of us fans of david gilmore and pink floyd asks phantom nude gaming yes no, there you go. Done. <laughs> uh, Todd's reviews. What's your take on the Armor RDA? I don't remember you talking about that one. Ask one eight seven. Excuse me, while I point and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, it's one I never actually tried. I don't think I did try the Armor. I think Damien, a uh, bloody good victim, did a review for it, but um, I never got one. I never got one. That's shocking. That's shocking. I can't believe they didn't send you one, mate. That's um, oh, oh. Speaking of pipes, um, Chris Scott. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Chris Scott. Have you seen there, Chris Scott's um, built a squonking pipe? Yes, and it looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? Is that something we're allowed to talk about? Um, it's on his Facebook page. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I already have so. <laughs> 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 yes, it does look like it's going to be amazing, and uh, seeing as it's uh, it's Mr. Scott, I imagine it'll be very, very clever as well. <clears throat> Charles Rawlings asks, "Any help with the leaking Kylan? Supposed to have one without the bugger what? Without the bugger deck, but it still weeps out of the bottom seal." Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I haven't had any issues with leaking from it unless you leave it upright for a sort of a long, long time. So no problems with it whatsoever. Yeah, mine doesn't leak at all. Just close off the juice flow control when I'm leaving it sitting and job done. Yeah, bosh. Um, um, Bear Vapes is a dedicated squonker. That's good to know, Bear. Up the squonkers. Power to the people. Back once again with the Renegade Master. Um, what's your <laughs> favourite... <laughs> what's your favourite type of build deck to use? Mine's always been the Twisted Messes decks. Um, I've, uh, I've always liked the Velocity style posts just because of how easy they are not only to build but also you can you don't have to sort of pre-cut your legs like if you've got anything like clamps or anything like that you put your coil in you cut your legs you take your coil out you put your other coil in cut your legs then put the first one back in again with velocity style you could just pop both coils in bend out the legs tighten them up and then snip them without any without any problems so that's something that i've always liked you <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, you, uh, I, I totally agree with whatever it was you were talking about. <laughs> uh, Daniel Carsill, no, I can't. Um, show us the squonk, squonking, squonking Jesus, squonking Jesus. That should be uh, how cool would that be as a name for a band? Someone needs to start a band and call it Squonking Jesus. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> best squonk rda for restricted lung hit um i i, I we can't say a best because we've, we've, we've there's loads there's loads that we like if you'd like a cheapie then uh, the dead rabbit you can restrict down and get a decent 
decent uh, lung here from yeah um are there any series squonkers out there um no yes there must be oh i was talking to um someone today about them actually but uh, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head <laughs> me either <laughs> <laughs> Um, with such a long neck on the pipes does the flavor diminish yes boom there you go and it gets cooler as well very difficult to get a warm vape um, no, no, it doesn't what no they paid me money they gave me money to do a review it's excellent flavor all the time <laughs> you can't Brilliant. say that people are actually believe you nobody <laughs> believes me <laughs> <laughs> and it does cool the vape down as well be aware of that it, it cools it right down yeah already said that no, you said it diminished the flavour. No, I also said it cooled. No, you didn't. Chat, no. did I say that it cooled? I'm sure. No, you didn't. <laughs> Leave Mooch alone. They're still at it. They're still asking Mooch questions. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we should bring Mooch in here at some point in time. It'll be um, marvellous because we won't have to speak for like 15 minutes. It'll be awesome. Oh, see, there, there they go. There's Schwartz. He's got your back. Oh, they're all at it now. No, no. Yeah, yes, he did. <laughs> no, that's that. No, get up, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, no, oh, that tickled me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Risky Endeavor says your pipe stem has holes in it too. Yes, it does indeed. I'm fully aware of that one. But uh, but yeah, I mean, even with even with these big bad boys, the uh, the flavour does diminish and it does get cooler just because there's such a long way for it to go before it gets into your mouth hole. <laughs> Bob from somewhere is asking, do you guys know where you can buy some 2700 wraps? I posted a link earlier on in the chat. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, yes. Zap wraps in the UK will do them. Um, and Mike's Mex saying that um, M mods, I think that's fine mods now, do a series squonker. Oh, um, do they? Does, does Matt do a series squonker now, does he? And yes. Yes, and uh, there's somebody saying, have you seen or tried the OATV V2? I have not. I haven't either, but I'd like to. After all of the excitement about the OATV V1, I'd certainly, I'd certainly be interested about that, but I think that's going to be quite difficult to get hold of, I imagine. Um, and, um, I didn't throw my toys out the pram, Alistair Barton. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think of the gig vape ages asked peter worthington i have done a review on that one already my friend so go and check that out for more my thoughts on that it was all right so okay um now then, is there any other questions uh, um oh, when was it when was it because oh, steve says outside the peer review conquers in the car park when was the last time that you played conquers and did you put your conquer in the oven and soak it in vinegar I play pocket con conkers uh -huh. <laughs> from time to time, but uh, that would be painful popping them in the oven. But um, no, I think it would probably be about 1985. 85, you were about 25 then? You get, you can do one. But <laughs> 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 oh. you had been about 1913 when you got bored of pushing your hoop up the road with a stick. Uh, oh, was the, the uh, somebody sorry, uh, vaping trucker Brian is saying that the drone was a series squonk mod? Yes, but it's a regulated mod, isn't it? It's not. It's it's series because you can get a bunch of power from it, but it's it's not a series mech squonker, which I thought that the guy was talking about. Oh, there's a uh, warg is asking if I could talk about the Wapari squonker. Not a problem. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you got to show it again, eh? Because the camera, for some reason, decided to look at the prettier one of the two of us. Okay, it's blue. It's blue. It's lovely. There we go. Have you um, done a review for that, haven't you? Yes, I have done a review for that. There we go. So go and check out Mr. T's review on that. That'll all be done and, and dusted. Um, uh, Mr. Todd, no, have any vape jobs going in Scotland? <laughs> yes, I'm looking for somebody to come and work with me in the shed. <laughs> as an intern we're both looking for interns so you don't have yes. to pay interns you ain't got to give them holidays or anything it's marvelous <laughs> um, um 
<laughs> uh, do I have any plans to design an RDA? No, I do not, Bryce. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, John Viglotti asks, favourite juice? Um, my own. <laughs> my offended by offenders. And uh, Mr Todd, I imagine, will be goose juice. Is that you taking the piss out of my accent there, by any no. chance? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I said that, then that would be a, a Yee Hee SX 450 <sighs> Jai. <laughs> Is the camera still on you just now? No, it's on you now. Oh, okay, then I'll do what I was going to do then. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite RDA to put on a hybrid mech mod? Depends on whatever I'm testing at the time. At the moment, I'm really enjoying this aura on top of the stroker because it looks the tits and it's quite a nice little vape. So there we go. Yeah, Boom. Nice. Uh, did you ever try the Council of Vapor Wraith? No, I did not. That was one that I wanted to buy, but I couldn't. I didn't have enough money to go out and buy it at the time. Um, yeah. And it's one of those things that I've thought about buying since. But it, it it just looks huge. It looks like a monster of a thing for a tiny little single battery eighteen six fifty regulated squonker. Yeah, beer beer vapes is talking about it there. I mean, I heard never tried one. Always wanted to, but I always heard terrible things about the board in it. Yeah. Uh, Yes, I, mean, I think they had huge issues to start with. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Keith Chenoweth has asked this a couple of times, and I, I've forgotten to uh, say about it. A friend asked me if he is running two 20-amp batteries in series. Is if the amp available amperage he can pull doubles? So he'd like to go to 40 amps. It doesn't strictly double, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure that Mr. Mooch has written about it on his... Um, his uh, his page so go and check that bad boy out for, for a whole bunch of proper information from someone who knows but um it does certainly increase your uh, your amp level um or amp limit but i don't think it quite doubles it um james uh, uh james vassett is asking what's the best beginner squonker um that regulated or mechanical go and buy yourself the pico squeeze there you go, there go. boom um triple x vapes have i ordered from stealth vape that's where i tend to buy a lot of my wire these days so yes we love rob um oh, that's not rob that's uh no it's still rob isn't yeah, it yeah, yeah. 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 Rob. um uh what else we got uh vape market just got one uh, a little bit oh I uh, just got one. It ain't that big for my little hands. Who are? Uh, that's what she said. I imagine he's talking about the wraith there. Um, Bryce Vapes is great photography on Instagram. Take care and good night. Thank you very much indeed. If you've I not checked out my Instagram, please go and check it out because I need to beat Mr. Todd's Instagram numbers because my page is so much better than his. <laughs> 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 you, they miss the little dance because you can't see the little squares in the corner when we're doing ours. Thank uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, right, I think we're pretty much coming to a close now. We've been we've been an hour and a half. I think that's that's long enough for anyone. Um, so uh, uh, AJ McLean is asking if I got the Recoil Rebel. Absolutely, and I, I did give it a little bit of a chat early on. Go and check that out on the replay. But yes, I've got that bad boy going on at the moment. Uh, can you suggest a good build build for the Pulse Twenty Two? Ask Sarah. Sorry, can't pronounce your name. Um, and uh, yeah. Depends what sort of thing you fancy, really. Parallel 24 gauge, parallel 26 gauge. Depends what you're putting it on as well, really. Uh, Clapton's, Clapton's always. Clapton's always. Um, a vapor bike you cannot go now. There is still beer left. I'm sorry about that, guy. Brush three wood. I have none, so I don't care. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> um, let's get to 200 thumbs up before they leave. That'll be very nice. Go on and give us an extra thumbs up. If everybody in the uh, if everyone in the chat does the uh, the gives us a, this video a thumbs up in the little uh, in the little thing in the corner, then I will um, I will do yes. nothing special. To be honest with you, I was thinking I was going to try and do something silly, but <laughs> got the energy. <laughs> uh, uh. Thomas Thomas Prince is asking, "Have you got the Dead Rabbit RDA?" And Dean, the Mister Vaping Baker, what's your opinion on it? 
<laughs> yes we have both got it we've both reviewed it and uh yes it's very good very good very good i'm still using mine on top of my uh i did have the stainless one on but i put the black one on because i like it so much and this has got a drip tip on it from big's tips I'm really into his tip that sounds dodgy <laughs> Really into <laughs> the <isn't it? laughs> but um, I've got um, also from from Big's Tips. I've got this bad boy, and I've got another white one somewhere, which is lovely. But I've got this is the acrylic one, but I've, he also does a uh, a Teflon one, which is fantastic, and I'm a huge fan of that one. Um, so yes, that's definitely a. Oh, there we go. There's a Teflon one on top of my other dead rabbit. Boom. But um, yes, very good. So go and check out Drip Tips by Big. I think they are. If you just type in drip tips by bigs or big steps then uh, in google you'll find it um but no have you have you seen anything else that you want to uh, you want to mention before we go mr t uh flared cabbage is that ruth cabbage is that the same one person no i don't i just recognize the cabbage from comments on youtube no yeah. no 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 it's a different one flared cabbage is a gaming channel apparently i asked him earlier on because i thought it's a really cool name Right. Uh, he's asking when I'm finishing off my uh, giveaway for the Ram Squonkers. Um, another couple of days. Another couple of days. Another couple of days. Boom. There we go then. Right. Well, in that case, I think we're pretty much up for the uh, for the for the for the finishing up then. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you very much to everybody that's uh, that's watched. I think uh, Mr. Todd will be giving us a cloud shot in a moment, but um, just because I like I like making him do it. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and if you're watching on replay, thank you very much for, uh, for 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 lasting this long. That is that is very beastly of you. If you do want to support the channel, there's always the PayPal link in the description down below, and there's also the Patreon thing. And if you get into the Patreon thing, then um, I think it's kind of the the, the ten dollars and above sort of sections gets to see some sort of occasional unboxing things and a few previews and bits and bobs but um yes it's all it's all good and gravy there's a bunch of things going on in there so thank you to everyone for those of you that have supported that already and uh, it's certainly helped it's allowed me to buy things like like this little wheel which you can't really see there but um what this means is it just helps my um with my dodgy hands with my editing and all that sort of stuff and i've got a tripod which is super helpful so it, all that is going into the channel which has been super helpful and uh, and helping other things as well so thank you so much for that but it's there now then i think that is enough of me talking away have you got something cloudy i've, I've, I've nothing i've, I've nothing I, i've seen oh, okay here we go hang on just let me build up to it <laughs> <laughs> and on that one ladies and gentlemen go out there and have it long